NRL reporter Lara Pitt has given a masterclass in how to deal with fans during live TV. A Fox Sports presenter walked past exit on live TV as disgruntled Sharks fans exited the stadium. Following Cronulla's 13-12 defeat to Sydney Roosters on Saturday night, clearly dissatisfied with disappointing result, Sharks fans apparently needed an outlet to vent their disappointment and couldn't help themselves. When they saw the bright lights of TV camera, watch the latest sports on Channel 7 or stream for free on 7 Plus One fan wrote Fuck the Roosters. Pitt was halfway through his sentence when he shouted, Fuck the Roosters, as he raises his middle finger towards the camera. Instead of ignoring the rogue fan, Pitt cut his own cross, turned around and pushed the fan away. Okay, that should work. Buddy, he told the man sternly. Pitt continued to speak, but was interrupted by another fan yelling with a drink in his hand. Anything can happen here, but it'll get through this. Pitt added, with fans getting out of control. Presenter Yvonne Sampson was about to put an end to the TV network's misery. Lara, you did a great job and I feel like we should wave to these locals. But it's an excellent update. Thanks said Sampson. Oh, I had more to say, Pitt laughed. As the group appeared to have passed the test, Sampson added do it now. Quick. Once again, Pitt tried to advance, but the bookies shouted relentlessly hello mommy. I love you mommy and rise to the nights. Yeah, go to Newcastle tomorrow, she replied, before admitting defeat and heading back to the studio. I guess I'll have to wrap it up because I don't know what's going to happen here, she said. One fan, who posted footage of the TV incident, said Lara Pitt is an absolute legend. Meanwhile, Roosters coach Trent Robinson is adamant that lack of experience will not be an excuse until next week's 1,000 games against Melbourne after Joseph Aukusosueli became the last Sydney Roosters star to be eliminated in the Doherty semi-final. Sam Walker scores the winning goal in the Sydney Roosters' 13-12 win against Cronulla. After one of the boldest wins in Roosters' recent history, club officials were busy calculating the cost of Tricolor's victory on Sunday morning. The Roosters, whose season seemed dead a little over a month ago, are now one of the competition's fit teams with six straight wins leading to next week's semi-finals. Due to Joey Manu's back knee injury and Sueli's reoccurring concussion, the Roosters will be deprived of the two left-flank assault weapons. Roosters officials were trying to determine incident that caused Winger's injury on Sunday morning. But they believe Sueli's head touched ground during tackle. Medical staff detected concussion symptoms at half-time, and Suali later failed a head injury assessment. There were initial hopes that he could apply for exemption to play if he recovered. But a concussion suffered during training at the end of June means he w.